RV Finch returns with some more tax collector. We have arrived at Epsilon Milnibu. <laughs> Nailed it first try. <laughs> Going after an Iron Shell bounty. And um, I feel like there's a second bounty here. I'm going after this one. You're in Milnibu. So are you, though. Why do I feel like it's you? It's not you. There's pirates here. What, are they both at the desert world? No way. Is this at the desert world? Ooh, that'd be scary. No, you're at a giant primary. So you're here. And you're 18 days, so I won't be able to get that one. But this Iron Shell one... I mean, it's a battle carrier. Some really strong ships, but we have a big guy too, so we'll do that. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Use the link in the description for, for Recash.com. Or you can join the channel. There's a YouTube join button right next to the subscribe, actually. Aha. Uh -huh. They're coming to get us. I want this battle carrier. It's 14th battle group. Um, it's got a missile nano forge, which is great. Could do some good stuff with it. It has four, like four medium mounts up front, which is pretty nice. Uh, one large composite, so one large, four medium, three fighter bays. Yes, yeah, pretty good, pretty good capital ship. Forty points. That's the right amount. Yeah, moving to engage. Let's do it. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. Naturally. I'm going to take all these spots. This is my new favorite strategy. You, instead of dying, you could, like, not choose to not die. Defend, whatever. Yeah, defend there. I'm going to have you and you defend. Defend. Yeah, like that. And then you are not on defend. Brawler's not on defend. Okay, we'll just let this guy drive himself now. Actually, he's gonna just go kill that guy. That is your job. Everyone else, fly and do something. Let's see what this iron shell deserter does. Obviously, he doesn't like paying taxes. Obviously. So, triple carrier. These small carriers are very squishy. They need hardened shields, it's a must. But they pack a punch with these fighters. The dagger bombers do quite good. And obviously our light cruiser carrying excessive amounts of weight for us. Can you get anywhere near this missile ship? The answer is probably no. And it looks like I heard somebody get popped. Uh, might have been you? Yeah, it was you. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You, you all failed to do your work. Uh, I'm going to take over here. Because... Yeah. We want to make sure all the missiles are flying. All the missiles, just all of them. The micro missile arrays are insane. But the whole point is just fire all everything so no one can do anything. Oh, hello, friend. Just burn away some of this heat for a second. It is now time. It is now time. Micro missiles. Rushes. Oh, he's in trouble. He's in big trouble now. Let's try and get the uh Big guns on them. 
Boom. Got it. Um, Alright, so some of our guys just got cooked. Looks like it was Spartacus. 15 custom glass. Yeah, was it was the red? No, he's still alive. That was a little guy. No, he's alive. Big guy, no. Um, I'm a little confused. Is this our ship? <laughs> Is that their ship? No, that's our ship. That's their ship. Okay. What is going on? Brawlers taking damage. He's getting cooked. It's your turn. He's got defenses. We'll shoot the missiles around him. And then... Rushes... Wrong button. Our guy's getting beaten up right now. Now, our front. Alright, more missiles, more missiles. You're not gonna escape, sir. Ooh. He's running. Oh, he got away. Alright, drive where you need to. We gotta kill these ships. I believe you've chosen to end your life. Thank you very much. Now we gotta get you. The battleship got away. I'm very sad about that. I'm not concerned about you. Well, the double railgun is pretty good. Ooh, big missiles coming from the distance. My crews are taking heat. Yep, yep, turning. Taking damage on the side like this is never a good idea. But, this is good. Get him. Get him, boys. There's so many missiles flying at him. So many missiles. Are those the thrush missiles that are just making this giant swarm of doom? I think it might be. Alright, clear the victory. His battleship got away. I'm going to pursue it with these two. Do ship recovery. That's a lot of hurt. Uh, we got another fast assault cruiser. I'll take it. I'll take you too. Thanks for coming by. I'm just getting all this stuff. Falcon light cruiser. Is this a 14th? It's not a 14th. So we won't take that one. There's a pirate station here. So what if I... Uh, check out some illegal pirate activity. I was hoping we can get some crew. Okay. We're losing crew strength, so we gotta mothball you and everybody else is fine. Okay. I doubt we're gonna have time to get this guy. He's in a giant... Oh, there's a giant there too. That's a binary, so it would say binary, I think. That's an orange giant. Can I just explore this desert world? 40 points? Alright, fine, we'll do it. It's good because we got ruins. Ruins can get us things. They got us a twin linked railgun. It's a good weapon. And special Kopesh. 
light annihilator pods. Triple annihilators. And they reload. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Alright, we'll check this out. I don't know if this is going to work out, but we'll see. We, we will see. People flying around all over the place. Everyone's fixed up. We're burning supplies like crazy. We might just need to go to a colony. Um, I don't think we got another guy. No, we only have one. Will the MVS take us? They will. They will. They'll be they'll be more than happy to help us out. Because we're gonna run out of supplies. Yeah, we are a little slow as well. Hello, MVS, we're here. To get some supplies and some help. We we're busy collecting taxes. Hello. Okay. Officer available. What can you do? You're cautious. Nah. Nah. Ooh, ta tattooed roughnecks. Still mind if I do. Okay. So we need some. We need some unmothballing of the ship. And then we'll go and do a crew purchase. Give me lots of crew. Alright, we got lots of crew. You don't want this. Of course you don't. You want these. 162? Not really. I mean, kind of. How about I sell you this? These, these ions are really good. I like this. Atropos, we're not going to use this run. I like the Kopesh. Mm, I don't think we're doing thumpers. No, I do like them. I'm just going to dump these. Got a bunch of Gravitons, which is good. Got a ton of auto cannons. It's not terrible. Okay, well, thanks for the money. Do you have missile launchers for us? That would be ideal. These MVS missile launchers are so good. They don't. Alright, so let's buy some gas. This gas, 28 unit price. Wow, okay. The gas is expensive, what can I say? Um, I'll need all this, so... Buy it all. Now, what can we do... With you? Okay, well, you got some superiority fighter. This is another carrier. Gun shield defenders. Great. He's only a needler. Looks extra damage to shields. Interesting. So you have a railgun. So you're like a double railgun build? And then like double mining razor build with two of these. Reinforced bulkheads. No. Rugged construction is good. Reduces effective demods. You don't have any demods, so not the end of the world. Uh, I will extend your shields. I got hardened shields. It's gotta be hardened shields. I have to put this on everything. Um, you, sir. What do we have for options? I like the Molnir Cannon. And that's mainly... Just like this. Ion Beam. Then we put on the Pulse. Bursters. And then the litho torpedoes, nice. The pylon works too. And Jack Hammer shoots three hammers. The pylon's not bad on this. You might, you might work. 
And guess what? There's no pilot for it either. Uh, you have one. You have one. You have one. And my other pilot's sleeping, so... Pretty good. You have 19 points left, so that's going to be hardened and integrated. Although putting in the Vic PD would be really nice. So in all the other ships, that's cool package. You get, yeah, it's got some good stuff, but every ship is going to need. Hardened shields. Yeah, every ship's gonna need hardened shields. So I don't have stuff built in, which is nice. Okay, yeah, that was expensive. Let's get the hundred back. That was really expensive. Shield conversion front. Fighter Bay. You have a heavy rail cannon, which is a pretty efficient weapon. And tap swarm missiles, also pretty good weapons. And Corp MRMs. Large weapon. 3000 range. These are great, but they're large. This is fired towards a target launch at a very high velocity. So they're fast. These are great missiles. Wow. Here, we're not going to buy them. Alright, they saved the day, these guys. Let's get back to home. We'll return all our wonderful things. They're happy that we traded with them. Got a whole bunch of money, so enough to buy a ship. Of course, you need we're doing stuff, but you know, it happens. Right. The four head syndicate pirates operating syndicate network on Stores Rock seem to be dispersed. Great. Alright. Flying where we gotta fly. We're back, everybody. We're back. Do you have any, like, cool portraits for us? I don't think I have this portrait, so what can you do? You're steady, you're in. You are steady, you are in. You want to consult with me, do you? What would you like to do? I require a well-led regular force to perform a tactical bombardment of Fort Eskol. That sounds dangerous. Um, and you'll pay me ninety thousand credits, and I gotta need. I'm gonna need eleven hundred fuel. That's a big, big force. That's not enough money for that. Not enough cash. Just have to say, oh, environmental shielding. Hello. Grab the kit as well. Um, all right, let's see if we can grab ourselves the ship. Oh, Sky Splitter. <laughs> I want one. We're going to need way more money. Basically, need about a million bucks. 40 points. Yep, Sky, Sky Splitter will be nice. Very nice. Um, on the open market, there's one of these things. It's a battle carrier. These are good ships. 30 points, so they're... Um, battle carry is usually battleship sized, so this particular one isn't. We do need a tug. Anyone have a tug? Yes, you do. Tug has joined the fleet. I have one of these, and a drone ship would be nice, but don't have any, so... Let's do some building mods. Can I afford anything? No, I need 10,000 for that. Wow, okay. What about you? 
We can do integrated targeting unit, which is really nice. Okay, how about you? Also integrated targeting, congratulations. You have your integrated targeting. So reduce your, wow. Yeah, not gonna build on that. I'll think about it. I will think about it. I'm gonna build in your integrated targeting. So everyone's gonna have a little something. It's gonna be great. Hopefully that little something is hardened shields. Don't want to build in your heavy armor. That would not be ideal. I gotta look at this ship. It's uh, random weapons. Uh, reduce the amount of damage taken by shields by 10%. No added effect for cruisers. Well, you are a destroyer. So that would be a good install. Also increases weapon range. Escort package is really good. When you're close to somebody, increases the ship's maneuverability and top speed and weapon range and reduces the amount of damage they take. Okay, I have to think about that one. I want that escort package on all these ships. All right, the brawlers. Are you just going to be using flux? I doubt it. I doubt it. I think I'm going to give you shields too. Mm. No. No. You got weird stuff. Ah, uh, yes, we can build in this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Doesn't have its stats. I'm going to save up for the augmented field drive on you. And you guys all have zero XP because you're new. Okay. We'll go in. First thing you're going to do. You can't ever do the augmented field drive. Makes me sad. Um, so I guess first thing to do is efficiency. We'll just wait for that. For you, yeah, you'll just wait. Yeah, I guess I got to do you too, right? All right, everybody needs to be looked at. Gardener shields are five points. Let's slap those on. Harden shields are just so critical for every ship. Even you. You have military systems built in. Okay. Harden shields. You have hardened subsystems. It's gonna become hardened shields though. Even these like unstable injectors and stuff are also very good. So maybe we'll have a pass at our brawlers. We'll give them unstable injectors. Make them really fast, really dangerous. Takes away some of the range, but they can get so close. Increases top speed. Reduces weapon range and fighter time. Safety overrides is the other version. Increases the amount of flux dissipation by two. Reduces peak performance by a lot and increases top speed by 50. They'd be so fast. Safety overrides. I don't know. If you have um, a suggestion for a good build on a brawler, we'll keep it for a while. But if you have a suggestion on what to do, safety override build or unstable, just let me know. And we can make the adjustments as needed. Escort package is seven. Shields is 10. So I think we're going to build in the shield and the escort package. Remove heavy armor from it. Slap in the escort package. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. You're a 14th battery version. You're not. You're not. 
you're obviously better already. They got the weirdest set of weapons. Um, yeah. Hardened shields, escort package of the two within shoes, for sure. Get these blast doors out of here. What a strange ship. Okay. You need shields. Heavy shields. Heavy shields. Uh, you need shield as well. Cost two. Cost two. That's not good. And you are a destroyer, right? You are, so I could give you escort package. Wouldn't that be interesting? Ten points. Worth every second. Yeah. Forgot I needed to give you a big weapon, too. Um... Yeah, you already have your big weapon. Let's give you the shield. That's better. Gonna give you a big weapon, so... I mean, auto pulse laser is fantastic. Just a high damage weapon. It's lots of damage to shields. Shield laser shoots too slow. Yeah, we'll just auto pulse. I can't fit one of these in. Why not? Because I have. S what? What? I have. 16 points. But it says I can put the auto pulse laser in. What? Oh, <laughs> there was a graviton beam. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. I'd have to take away that to get this lance. Um, uh, this might be too much juice for you. Let's find out. Let us find out. There's a destroyer, so we'll check. There's a cruiser version of these. Which I want. <laughs> the cruisers are so good. That's a cool green laser beam. Okay, you're here. You're firing missiles. The big lasers. I mean, it's big. Oh, wow. It does so much damage. That explosion, too. Okay. Okay. It's a cool weapon. It's a cool weapon. I'll keep it. You have high intensity lasers. That's great. Let's get you shields. Excellent. Let's get you shields. That's actually gonna be big for this ship. This ship should fight a lot better now. And you need ten thousand points for this. You don't need the shields immediately, but you will. So we'll put in integrate it for ten thousand. Put the shields in. Um, also. The uh, weapons need to be adjusted on oh, this ship. It's so weird. Just a weird group of weapons. Putting in a ton of maulers would be really nice. Um, 
Magic Box PD Missiles. These things are great weapons, but they shoot like pretty slow. Polax Cannon. 1600 range. So I have been Mauler would be 1800 range. So what if I do Mauler instead? And oh, some of these ranges are crazy. What do we got though? Hmm, these would be nice. What do I got for are these my only mediums? Yeah they are. Do we have any? No, that would be you. Looking for salamanders. Yeah. Salamander, good. Can I do another? Do I have another one? Don't. Hmm. Anything that reloads, hammer. You don't reload. Problem with less ammo? Missiles? Not gonna cut it. Hmm, don't want more missiles out of this thing. Virtual beam repeater, point defense, sea whiz. I mean. Put these needlers on the front. Shoot pretty far. They do 250% damage to shields. And they're frag. Other option, just railguns. 1300 range railguns. Here's a regular needler. Which does 55 times 15. At 120 flux per second, you're 180 flux per second. 55 times 15, a little bit more damage. I mean, could do that. These use more heat. Yeah, they do. I think about got the virtual beam. Eight. Currently have ten ordnance points. And all I could really do is slap one of these guys on it. Just more crazy weapons. All day. Other option would be to also replace the DA interceptors. I like the rocket interceptors, but I'd like to replace them with. You know, our battle group ships. Fort Hard Fire Supports. Compact Arbalus. Piranha Bomber. Forming Superiority Fighters are great. Copus. Microburst Chain Gun. Is a bomber. Or mining pods. So I could swap these rocket bombers, revolver rockets. Let's check them out. So you got an IBIS, that's an anti missile weapon. And you have rockets, 800 damage. Kopesh uses annihilators, but are they bombers? Is the question. Rocketeer, Hall Integrity 350 armor, and 200 speed. Okay. These are slower. 18 second replacement time. 
Two fighters and wing versus three. Three of them are going to dump four 200 point missiles. Are the Kopeshes just going to sit there and fire these things constantly? Only one way to find out. And then we have the Warthog as well. And best bet I could do is a Talon. But we'll keep these guys. Because they also have Art Assault Revolver Cannon. They have their booster, which they throw. And then not Mono Ibis. Alright, let's give this a try. And we'll just see what the fighters can do. Engage, my man. Engage. Okay, there's the Kobesh. Uh, they are indeed firing missiles. And they're just staying by. That adds to the heat. Nice miss. Okay, so the Kopesh don't do volley fire. Okay. Fine. Run sim. Fight something a little bit bigger. Okay, so you fire your thrush. They just do big damage. Your Kopesh sit here and just fire. So they're not being replaced, which is nice. Go go a light annihilator. They have two of them, so it's 600 damage each volley, 100 shot, and they can intercept some fire. I'm liking the ion beam. I am liking the ion beam very much. Way more than Graviton. Is that an ion beam? I take it back. I thought that was an ion beam. It is just a Graviton. Hmm. Having six missile launchers up front would also be very good. this we move forward we group the homies excuse me why can't I select this thing there we go all right so we're here I like all the thrush to go in Oh, number three is Thrush. Number two is Magic Box. These things. Number two should be on auto fire. You should fire this Magic Missile and then Thrush plus Salamander. And the Thrush should pop to make other missiles. It's, uh, it's a weird build. It's a weird build. But it's something. For now, it's something. Okay. The fleet is back. We have, um... We get missions from you. We don't have, like, a person. Ask her to represent the Iron Shell at your embassy? I don't have an embassy. I don't have one. I should probably store these items here. Start building up a storage of useful items. Yeah, we'll do that. And then here... 
I can actually sell these. Got 84 guys. So we need to buy a little bit of this. And in the next episode, we're going to go hunting for some more big money. Um, yeah. All right. I put the proper things in. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I actually have to deal with this. Hardened shields. In you go. You have hardened shields? We can build those in too. How about you? Can't build those in. Build your hard shields in. That's nice. Can't build yours in. Definitely can't do anything to you. Uh, you can get it too? Wow. Okay. You are upgrading severely. Hard shields, so good. Did I just remove those? Oh, I might have just removed those. I might have just removed those. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Whoops. Big whoops. Um, I think hardening shields on these, no matter what the build is, is going to be really good. Because it allows them just to take so much more damage. And then everybody will be in a better case. You can't build that yet. You can. And you. I can actually do both of these, so I will. You have zero and you have zero. Okay. It kind of tells you what you can get. Yeah. I unbuilt in a mod on one of these ships. Which one was it? It was you. That nah, was bad. Just wasted some of his XP. That's what we did. Yeah, it's, I gotta pay more attention when I do that. It's not as clear. There should be like a line in this menu. So, Mod Maker, if you're watching or ever see this, putting a definitive line between the two. Helps. Helps make simple little mistakes that I am prone to make. Thanks in advance. What am I going to do with all these points? I don't even know. Um. I mean, for now, I think I'm just going to do PD Archimeter. Yeah. Yeah, we might be doing that on everybody. Because that will... That will make our PD... That much better for the whole fleet. Um, until I think of something else, it's going to be our committers. Kind of everywhere. Because we are PD light. Oh, I forgot you have this thing. You could probably be more useful if you had this. Now your cost changed though. That's why we used that missile in the first place. A Reaper though. Salamander pod. I can get around. I'm like, no PD. How about some rail guns? And then an Archimeter. Seems like we need to lean into these Archimeters. They're just so important. Because you have so little anything for PD. Getting you an Archimeter would be good. Only cost five. I'm also doing uh, light needlers would be nice rail guns would be best but I ran out I used them all I guess we 
but you can rock light needler and then a mortar maybe or an auto cannon or an assault gun There's no assault guns available. Oh, there's one here. Cost five. Light assault gun. 40 damage versus mortar. 95 damage. Mortar is better. Missiles work too. But then you run out of juice. So it's going to be an auto cannon for now. You, sir. You got all kinds of random weapons. Reaper, Cloud Burst, Double. Kind of fits the same, but with like magic. Three points. It's an extra point. No, I'm going to give you... Hmm... Maybe PD Archimeter. It can just be a random ship. You're also going to get one. We're going to be running a lot of these Archimeters. It's going to be great. And that should... Zaps missiles in range. Generates flux per zap after zapping is recharge. Can hold a bunch of charges. All sets are different. So I can't do fighters at all. But I can deal with everybody else. I don't think you guys need PD. Per se. Mm, not really. Giving you the ability to... These are some... Weird builds we have on these ships. Like this guy would benefit from... I don't know. Safety overrides probably? I don't know. The, the brawlers will leave for now. I don't know what to give them. You have a salamander in one of these things. And this light auto cannon, which does basically nothing. So let's give you a Vulcan. Let's give you... I mean, Hammer won't do much either. Your job is PD. Armored weapon mounts aren't required. Heavy shoot down missiles can have you take as much damage as possible which will help a little and you sir I'm I'm not even sure what to do with you this you have two points available okay just grab those your weapons PD laser, hybrid turret. Oh, using the flechette needler. Okay. You're using a pole axe cannon. Should I? Semi-automatic. And then I guess this has automatic. Wow. Okay. Um, I think keeping it on the pole axe is fine because it does damage. I'll just give you some extra bits. You can now have efficiency overdrive over hull. You can also have high res sensors would be helpful. Okay. You can have high res sensors and survey equipment. Startups engines. Star just engines. They're amazing. Too late. I already got the augmented drive field in them. 
I guess you could put them in with augmented, right? Whatever, we've got survey equipment and we're gonna do high res. You're happy as a clam. You can't have anything. You can't have anything. Okay. So these are the builds so far. Some will work, some will not. And I'll see what the comments say about these brawlers on some options on what we can do. See you in the next episode, folks.